It's a double header as the A's take on the Texas Rangers for the final two games of the homestand. Game one will have Michael Lorenzen and J.P. Sears on the mound. J.P. Sears taking the field with his club. For J.P. last time against these Texas Rangers, and that was back in Texas. Six and a third innings, one hit, did not allow a run. Here's Simeon to lead it off. First pitch, he swings and lines one to left, a base hit. He homered on the first pitch yesterday. He drills a single on the first pitch today. And there will be no no-hit flirtation for J.P. Sears this afternoon. So Simeon is on for Seager. Just does get out of the way of it. That's ball four. And so the Rangers had the first two men on this afternoon. Two on, nobody out. Early traffic for Sears as Nathaniel Lowe stands in. Ground ball hit the other way. Schumann to the backhand. He goes in front of the runner. The tag from Harris is late. It looked like he almost forgot there was a force and didn't step on the base. This is a nice play by Schumann. It's his only play, but you see Harris right there not catch the ball with his foot on the base and apply the tag. Base is loaded for the Rangers. Nobody out. Adoli's coming up. And he'll pop it up. Shallow right. Toro, glasses gleaming, makes the catch. And one down. Garcia now 0 for 8 on the series. There's one away for Jonah Hine. Punch the other way to right. Long way to go for Rooker. He slides and makes the catch. It will bring home a run, but Rooker keeps it. Just a one-run advantage for Texas. And that's a heck of an effort from Brent Rooker. This ball kind of gets knocked down and Rooker readjusts. Here's Ezekiel Duran hitting 222. No homers, three RBIs. That's ball right up the middle on a bounce. Picked up there by Toro. He'll take it to the bag himself. It could have been a whole lot worse as J.P. Sears allows one run, but the bases were loaded with nobody out. So on to the bottom of the first setting. They'll have to go through a guy who's historically had success against the A's. It's Michael Lorenzen. 15 consecutive scoreless innings to be exact. Opponents hitting under 200. He's punched out 31. Toro, the A's hottest hitter. He's 5 for 10 of the series. And everybody being really aggressive, and Toro goes after the second pitch. He sees. Lazy fly ball to center, and he makes the catch. And Tyler Nevin, Tyler playing first base today, trying to snap out of an 0 for 15. And a bouncer third base. Nice sliding grab by Wenzel, and a good throw in time. Two up, two down. Breaking ball, cut on a missed. And the A's go 1-2-3. We go to the second, 1-0 Rangers. J.P. Sears against Davis Wenzel, Andrew Kisner, and Leody Tavares. Oh, he'll get one off the end of the bat. Schumann to his left, and on the run, the throw to first is there. One away. Kisner on the line to center, caught by Blade. Two quick outs for Sears, which is very different than the second inning of yesterday's contest. 2-2. Two -two. Fastball, strike three called. Buzzed him on the inside. And Tavares and the Rangers go one. Two, three. On to the bottom of the second. One nothing Rangers as we move to the bottom of the second. And the first pitch from Michael Lorenzen to Brent Rooker. Rooker line drive into center field. That's a hit. Lead off single. And Rooker gets his second hit of the series against Texas. That is also true. And there's a swing and a miss. A strikeout of Davis. His second of the game for Lorenzen. Bringing up Shea Langoliers. High fly ball deep to left field. Duran going back at the track. At the wall. It's a Texan tank for Shea Langoliers. And the A's have a two to one lead. His success against the Rangers in 2024 continues. Just a hanging curveball right in the middle to the man they call Shea Bangaliers. Swinging a fly ball to right center off the bat of Schumann. Garcia and Tavares giving chase toward the wall. That's going to off the base of the wall. Schumann's hustling to second, making the turn, not hesitating. Trying for third, the relay by Simeon, the throw, the tag, and he's out at third base. A perfect relay by Simeon right on the money. Wenzel was waiting, and Schumann is gunned down, trying to stretch it to three bases. 1-1 one, one popped up on the infield. Lorenzen looking for help, calling for it, and he will catch it with a little collision with Nathaniel Lowe. Nobody took charge, and the catch is made by the pitcher Lorenzen. The inning is over. Well, you go to the top of the third. It's 2-1 to one A's. Simeon singled on the first pitch of the ball game and eventually scored on the Jonah Heim sack fly. And Simeon hammers one to left field. That one is gone if it's fair, and it stays fair and is out of here. Marcus Simeon wallops a fastball from J.P. Sears. And the solo home run ties the game at two. 
What a blast. 412 feet to straightaway left field. Marcus picking up right where he left off yesterday. Well, as you said, he just grew up down the road. He might be the new owner of this Coliseum. The bottom of the third, it's a 2-2 game as Michael Lorenzen. Lorenzen, the strikeout, that completes a 1-2-3 innings. 1-2-3, no hassle. Inning takes us to the fourth. 2-2 the score. We're in the top half of the fourth inning here at the Coliseum. Well, chopper toward third. That's going to be a tough play. Maybe impossible. It is. And Duran has an infield hit. That's knuckle. Diving oh. catch by Schumann. Full extension, and he robs Kisner of a hit. How about it, Shu? I mean, not much time to react here. It's two, three quick steps, and then he's got to make a decision and lay out. Get nasty, Shu. Parallel to Mother Earth. Throw some leather at it. Oh, man. Now here's Leoti, and he wraps one high in the air, left center field. But they going back. He's at the wall. That ball is history. Leoti Tavares clears the 14-foot high wall at the 388 sign. A two-run drive, and he breaks the tie. It's 4-2 Texas. Stay hot in Oakland, Leoti. 4-2 Texas leads it. He's now retired five straight. And here's the right fielder, Brent Rooker. Rooker gets the ball in the air to deep right center field. That one's carrying. That one's going some more. It's off the wall. Tavares tried to get there, but Rooker lands at second base with a one-out double. And now Davis to right. Garcia can't find it. He's still going, and he dives. He drops the ball. Rooker to third, Davis to second base. He couldn't find it. Then he found it, and then the collision with the ground knocked the ball out of his glove. Lorenzen now in a tickler spot here. Yes, he's got to figure out a way to get out a dangerous hitter in Shea Langoliers, who's done some serious damage against the Rangers. On second and third with one out, as Shea Langoliers, who homered in the second inning, will be the hitter. For Shea, that was his fourth home run against Ranger pitching this year, his eighth home run against Texas. And Langoliers swinging line drive down the left field line. That's a base hit. It's going to go all the way to the wall. Rooker scores. Davis easily rounding third. This game is tied, and Langoliers delivers again. But Shea Langoliers has seemingly moved Texas into his own backyard here in California. Raking. And we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Brent Harris will lead it off here for Oakland. Against Michael Lorenzo to swing and a smash the left center field. On the way, Durant takes a look, and it is gone. Brent Harris, his third home run, a rocket to left center. And the A's regain the lead. He's putting barrel to baseball. Square me up right tight. On to the bottom of the sixth inning. Oakland trying to build on their 5-4 lead. Lead off walk for Davis. Good start for the Athletics. Brings up the man of the hour, Shea Langoliers. And for good reason. Shea Langoliers to left center field. Tavares is not going to get there. It goes all the way to the wall. Davis around third. Emart waving him home. Langoliers to third. There is not going to be a play. And Shea Langoliers has tripled his third extra base hit of the game. It's six to four. Langoliers needs just a single for the cycle. When Michael Lorenzen is on the mound today, has not had the sort of command, the sort of stuff that he's had in his previous starts. Rookie Cole went on the mound for the Rangers, relieving Michael Lorenzen in his six innings of work. First and second, one out for Brent Rooker. Couple knocks this afternoon. There's Pitch Swan, a fly ball to Sanfield, hit well. Go back to Barris at the wall, looks up, and it is gone! Rooker again! A three-run homer, and the A's lead nine to four. Oh, is he hot? All right, top half of the eighth, nine for the A's lead. A new pitcher on for the A's. It's Mason Miller taking no chances or even with a five-run lead and Brett Harris to his left spins fires and the defense continues pick it Harry check swing it won't matter another strikeout for Mason Miller absolutely buckled just locked up swing and a foul tip high octane at 102 one two three go the rangers on to the top of the ninth inning and the a's lead at nine to four mason miller looking to wrap up the uh, opener of this double header today one two pitch swing and a miss three straight strikeouts for mason miller slider strike three oh my goodness that pitch is some kind of pitch marcus three hits today seven in the series slider rolled weakly towards short coming in for to schumann gloves throws the first and the A's win game one of the doubleheader. Mason Miller, six up and six down. And the Athletics three game losing streak is in the rearview mirror. They win the first game today by the final of nine to four.